Finally, the ice. It's not as bad as you would think, but still a challenge. Yep, here we are. The Rockies. <sighs> I had intended to, uh... I mentioned in a previous episode, I'm playing this, like, on a Sunday, two days after I uploaded the last episode of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And I had an, I uploaded that Friday morning, and I intended to actually play through this real late Friday night into early Saturday morning. Like, after work, I just get home, I take a shower, maybe have a snack, I don't know, and, uh... Just go through it, get exhausted, get even more frustrated and upset that way, and, uh... That was the plan, anyways, but... I don't know, I just I didn't feel like it, and then for whatever reason... Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do it Saturday for some reason. So it's Sunday now, and uh, I don't know why any of you would care about that. But yeah, and uh, just be careful turning, I guess. That shit. Yeah. Okay. Like that. I, I kind of. Uh, well, it's not hydroplaning because it's not puddles, but I did something that felt similar to that. Uh, if you do it right, it can kind of help you steer a little bit. I, I guess it'd be easier on your tires, not that tire wear isn't uh, a factor in this game, but... It is a Need for Speed high stakes. That was the first Need for Speed game I ever played, and... Uh, The only one I had ever tried for like 11 years, maybe 10 years, I don't know. I know it came out in 1999, but I, maybe I got it in 2000 for all I know. But okay, for roughly a decade, Need for Speed High Stakes was the only game I ever played. It was the fourth Need for Speed game that came out, actually. You could call it Need for Speed 4, alternatively, and uh, that's all I knew of Need for Speed. Then the next one I tried out was Need for Speed Carbon, and... Uh, that was fun. I, I like that. I never actually beat the storyline. I, I nearly did, though. I just kind of couldn't do it, and I gave up. Uh, and then I played Need for Speed the uh, World in, like, the summer of 2010 when that came out. That was fun. I didn't play it as much as I could have, though. I kind of regret not playing it more with friends. And, uh... You got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010, and, well, 2010. And, uh, I think technically that game is only called Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, but I, I just call it 2010 to differentiate it from other Hot Pursuits titles that have happened in the Need for Speed franchise so far, and, uh, I've since played other games, including this one. I, uh, damn it, fucking goddamn, fuck. Alright. I'm still past all ten cars, so that's good. Got two miles to go, though. And, uh, I remember I'm rooming with this, uh, guy in, like, uh, late 2011 when this game came out. Because I'm, uh, at that point I'm halfway through my sophomore year in college, and I'm, uh, I'm looking up some stuff on Need for Speed The Run, because it's about to come out, or had just recently come out. And there were complaints from everyone, universally, that this game is locked in at 30 frames a second. I told my roommate this, and he didn't say anything, he just did a literal facepalm. Like, I remember that's, that was his initial reaction, just to do a facepalm rather than say anything. And... To this day, I still don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Now, there's like a patch, uh, you can, um, like version 1.1 or something that I guess removes the 30 frames a second lock, but, uh, I didn't apply that, because I just reinstalled it and I didn't think, oh, whatever. Uh, oh, 
oh well, whatever. It's it's not unplayable at 30 frames a second. Some people say it's borderline unplayable at 30 frames a second, which, I mean, if you had 60, sure, that'd be fantastic, but I don't find it that bad. I, I think it's, it's, I don't think 30 is so awful, really. But this is coming from a guy that played, uh, when, when Hot Pursuit 2010 came out, I had a laptop. Um, I don't know what kind of video capability it had, how much video RAM it had. It only had like 4 gigs of primary RAM, though, and it would play Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 at like between 15 and 20 frames a second at the lowest settings. So that's like... 800 by 600 resolution, that was the lowest resolution that game supported. Um, all Everything else turned down, and I still got 15 or 20 frames a second, and I still played the hell out of it, because, yeah, I wasn't thrilled with the frame rate, but I'm used to playing at uh, shitty frame rates. Not so much anymore, because I, I built myself a budget gaming PC in mid-2014. That laptop could not handle this game, though. What the fuck did I do to that car? It's like, speaking of Need for, Sp Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit 2010, um, when you wreck another police car or a rival driver, you might just tap them and then they spin out, but then they start flipping over. Like it's, uh... Like, that's just a forced thing that they have to do to look more dramatic. It would look more dramatic if it happened once in a while, but if you do it all the time, it just becomes, like, cliché, practically, and not at all interesting. It starts to become annoying. Now here, it doesn't happen as often. Uh, but... Shit, what happened to the road? Okay. Um, but, like... It still happens. I got a hairpin turn coming up. Damn it. Got passed. Get out of my way. But, like, it happened practically all the time. It's happening all the time here, too, it seems like. Whenever a car, uh, or a cop car, anyway, crashes, it gets totaled. Like, I might just tap it. And if it has, like, one hit point left, and that tap is enough to subtract a hit point or more from it. Nice. I'm sure that driver's pissed at me, though, for doing that. Um, but it's like, just fucking... Okay, your engine dies because it's too damaged to continue. Just kind of come to a rolling stop if I just barely tap you. If I slam into you and you want to do, a, like, a dramatic, oh, the car's going to flip over and roll over, okay, fine. But don't do it all the time. That's fucking stupid, for fuck's sake. And it's not as bad in this game, because, first of all, there aren't that many of those cutscenes interrupting the flow of the gameplay. In Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010, that happens constantly. There's no way to make it fucking stop. It's like the biggest, it's like the one major flaw with that game that I have. Um, and this one, I don't know if there's a way to disable the cutscenes either, but I, I, I'm not as frustrated with it, because... It doesn't happen as often. With Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010, you can have like 20 or 30 cutscenes in a race. Like that's a slight exaggeration, but 20 might be kind of literal though. Like, I, like I'm not, not kidding. It's not just uh, crashing people though. It's it's when different uh, like spike strips are used or EMPs are used, but. Fucking relentless with the cutscenes, and there's no way to disable them. Not for single player mode, anyways, but uh, if you played them on. Uh, if you played that game in multiplayer mode, you don't get the cutscenes, because that's impractical, right? They were smart enough to disable them there, so it's possible to disable them overall, but they just don't give you the option to do that. Oh, nice, thank you. They don't give you the option to do that in single-player mode. I looked at multiplayer recently, like, back in 2016. There's, I don't know if there's anyone on the servers anymore. Yeah, here's another guy you'll maybe only see once or twice, but otherwise has no impact on the game. It's just 
okay? It's showing you ex other motivations people might have for uh, participating in the run. They drive as a crew, Jack. Stay sharp. All right. Well, that's a, that's smart actually. Drive as three people have three times the chance of winning and split the the uh, winnings. There's, there's people at my place of work that seem to do that. Like, they'll buy lottery tickets at work, and I guess if one of them wins, they'll all uh, split the earnings. I don't participate in that, because I just I don't gamble. I mean, I might gamble for fun if it didn't involve money or anything of importance. Like, I'm, I don't... Not a, not morally opposed, like holier than thou kind of a thing, but I just I don't do it. Uh, so I'm assuming that's what they're doing, just like these three drivers are. And it's an interesting idea, but I don't think having five people play meaningfully uh, increases your odds of winning and taking home part of the jackpot. Oh, and by the way, um, what pisses me off about winnings is. Uh, not the fact that they uh, get taxed. So, like, you win a million dollars, you take home uh, a large percentage of that money, but you're, you're not actually taking home a million dollars. What they should do is, like, if they say you're going to win a million dollars, you should take home a million dollars. You can still have the government tax it, but, like, initially give them 1.3 million or whatever. Like, do the math ahead of time so that however much the government would tax so that you end up with a million dollars in after-tax money is what you take home. That should be how that works, in my opinion, but I don't know, what do I know? I mean, that's how I'd do it, and I'd, I'd be honest about how that, that works. Like, yeah, uh, the million dollars, you will take home a million dollars after uh, taxes, but, uh, you know, just be aware that technically it was a million and a... And, a few hundred thousand extra at first, and you're not getting that few hundred extra thousand or whatever, it's just... I don't know. I mean, it's not a huge pet peeve of mine, but something I've thought about occasionally. Let's see. Half a mile left. I'm past all these guys. I can hear them behind me. Uh, shit. Shit. No, no, no. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Stop. Where are you? Okay. Alright, he's behind me. He's... Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I should be talking about what I'm doing in the game, not just ranting about random things. It's not ranting, really, it's just non-sequitur commentary. Again, I don't care about any of this. I have to sit through it all the time. You can see the trees swaying in the background. Look at that. It's cool, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I bet New York, where it's pinpointed on that version of the continental U.S., is in the very bottom part of Georgia. Because Florida's... Florida doesn't stick up that far from the Gulf of Mexico like that. It, it's not touching Florida, I don't think. That improperly placed New York points fucking thing. Can't believe they did that. Like, who who thought? I don't know. Just, I guess one person working on that line, the other person working on the map, and it's a cool looking map, sure, but they just didn't talk about it, and somehow nobody noticed it. I'm on some ice or something. I don't know what's going on. I really don't care for these time trials, especially in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010. They're even more annoying there. I'm complaining more about Hot Pursuit 2010, but I think I like that game better than this game. It just it feels like there's more replayability there. It's like, I play through this, and I, I'm, I'm genuinely having some fun here, but I don't want to play it again for a couple years. I don't know. It's just replayability value is not very high for me, even though there are technically other things you could do besides play the main storyline. Uh, 
Oh man, there's six checkpoints total. Wow. Okay, well I'm halfway done then. Yeah, this is... That shit. It's that... I guess I can partly blame the ice, but even if that ice wasn't there, I don't know if I would have missed that car. Okay. Come at this a little more slowly. Yeah, here we go. Shit. Alright, here we go. Yeah, plenty of time, I think. It's it's not super... Uh, they give you enough leeway, is what I'm trying to say, I think. Damn it. Alright, whatever. It's alright. Like I said, they give you enough leeway, it's it's alright. I've gotten through here for about 15 seconds to spare. And... Here we go. So, uh... Oh! Okay, well. At least I didn't total myself. But, uh... Nice weather we're having, right? As I talk about the weather, one of the most cliche things you can do when you can't think of something to say. Yeah, one more checkpoint. A little less than a mile to go and we'll be out of this. It really is more interesting when you're fighting with other cars and police cars at the same time. Final nitrous boost. Shoot, I forget what the top speed of this car is. I know it's over 200, but... Ah, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck myself up. Okay, I made it. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I should drink some water. I have water here, but... Here, let's see. Ah. <clears throat> Okay, feel a little better now. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> the avalanche part will come up soon. I might turn the endgame music on just for that, just because... Oh, it's here, actually. Yeah, turn this on. This is my favorite part of the game. It just sucks that it comes at the very end of the stage. You've blown through signs before. I don't know why you're hesitating here. Oh, blasting, right. Yeah, that's what it says. Uh, oh, oh, that guy doesn't care. You want to win, don't you? Of course you do. Here we go. Yeah, I'll turn the music off for the game, but not this part of it. Seven and a half miles of just adrenaline. Pussy. The real guy breaks much later than necessary. That explosion. They're just launching fucking fireballs into the side. I mean, I've never heard of demolition being done that way uh, in real life, honestly. Like, I thought you'd strategically place dynamite somewhere and then you'd run away and remotely detonate it or something, but just catapulting shit at the side of the mountain. I mean, that can't be precise. Unless you don't care about precision, you're just kind of doing a rough job here. Oh, damn. Alright. Now there's larger boulders to worry about. These smaller bits of snow you can drive through. Certainly. Oh, here we go again. Oh, no, nah, here comes that guy. Damn. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I love this so much. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. Damn. 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 Okay. More nitrous. Damn. Oh, wow. He fucking crashed. Oh, yep. All right. There we go. Oh. It survived. I get 250 experience points for surviving. Yeah. All right. And the game handles the headlights automatically. I'm not doing that. I mean, if I had to do it myself, I probably wouldn't bother, honestly. But whatever. Uh, shit! God damn it. It would have been so much cooler if I did it in one go, but okay. I don't think I've ever messed myself up on that part of this level. It just went right off of it. I, I didn't break properly. It's embarrassing. Ugh. Here comes that guy. He's catching up to me because I'm being cautious now. Okay, I'm past the part where I crashed. I didn't even drift intentionally, that's just ice. So the fact that the road is icy is giving me more experience points than I would otherwise get. Not complaining, but I don't care about the points. This is some shit right here. Alright. Oh, wow. Fuck you. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me, though. Like... Jeez. And then there's... Oh, yeah, this bit. Yep. Oh, it's the end of stage five. Right? Yeah, it would have been cool to do it in one run, but oh well. It should be the end of stage five. Because, yeah, my favorite part's at the end of the stage, not the beginning. Alright. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But maybe I can replay the Avalanche during that challenge series thing, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't thought to look at that now. Yeah, yeah. 